Welcome to this GameCrafter tutorial on dealing with drift. Under normal circumstances, everything should cut exactly according to the template so that you get a card that looks like the card that you were expecting to get based on your design. However, that's not always possible. There are printers, people, and various types of other machinery such as cutters and folders, slitters, and all of those things can introduce error. And that error is called drift. So, in order to have a perfect system, you have to get rid of all of those items. We love our people. We call them crafters, and they wear that like a badge of honor. However, people make mistakes. It's not their fault, it's just human nature. Everything can come down to a mistake. So we try to eliminate that or mitigate it by simply automating as much as possible. Now, we're never going to be able to get rid of our people. We need the crafters. They, they have specific skills, and there's some things that you just can't automate, at least not quickly, cheaply, easily. So we automate as much as possible to get rid of the drift and other problems, but there will always be some human error involved. Another place that can introduce significant drift is the printer itself. Our system is designed around the idea that a card will be placed a certain measurement from the edge of the paper. However, during printing, that measurement may get off a little bit. The printer may print the card in a different space on the paper than you intend. This is just due to the machinery moving around while the paper is moving through it. All printers experience this, some with more or less drift. This is exacerbated by printing on both sides of the paper. It's going to move a little bit as you go through the printer the first time, and a little bit as you go through for the second page. So looking here on the back side of the card now, we can see that they're lined up perfectly on the images. However, when they go through the printer, the back side might get off a little bit from the front side. And this can get even worse if the front side didn't print exactly precisely, so now the drift has magnified. The cutting process can also introduce drift of its own. Under normal circumstances, you want the cutter to cut exactly along the trim line so that your card comes out perfectly. However, it could be misaligned and cut off a little bit. As we continue to improve our equipment, we're able to get this pretty perfect. It's almost pixel perfect. So when you cut a card, it lines up with the printing on the card. If you design a card to the template, and then we cut it, the face of the card basically lines up perfectly with the cut line. The problem comes in if the face of the card is not perfectly aligned with the back of the card. So even if the cutter cuts perfectly on the face of the card, the back could still be misaligned. Here, I'll show the back of this card through the face. There, let me outline the back. Now I'll outline the front. You can see that the two images are slightly misaligned. So when the cutter cuts, it will not cut perfectly. The cut line will be perfect to the face of the card, but not to the back. Let's look at this problem from another angle. This is the back of our card. If I add the cut line in, it's cut perfectly as far as the face is concerned, but it looks horribly misaligned from the back, even though it might only be off by a millimeter, maybe two. You can fix this problem very simply. All you have to do is not put a border on the back of your card. So when the card gets cut, it looks perfect, even though it's off by about a millimeter. Thanks for watching this tutorial on dealing with drift.